Hello Townshippers, in today's video we will be talking about test groups and why Playrex is constantly putting us in one. Test group is not a new feature. We have been aware of this since 2021. If you have been watching my Township update videos, then you would know Township likes to put us in different test groups. Group 1 and Group 2, or it could be Group A and B. Depending on which group you are on, you may have different events or no events compared to the other group. For example, in the next update, the room renovation Northern Transformation will start for Group 1 on December 30th. On the same day, those in Group 2 will have colorful puzzle instead of the room renovation. In some cases, both groups can have the same event, but depending on the group you are in, Playrex could change the point system for a group where one group needs 20,000 points to get grand prize, while the other group may need 50,000. Playrex does this because they are testing out different formats or events of the game. They analyze the players in each group for their engagement or how long a player plays on Township, and if one group spends more money in app purchases. Basically, they analyze the group to see how the different variable affects their in-game performance and use those data to maximize user experience and make more money. This testing isn't a new concept from a business perspective, as other game companies have been doing them. This business model allows game companies to test out new ideas and events to small groups of players before applying them to the whole game. It's a cost-saving tactic for the company. The average player wouldn't know they are in a test group and so would play how they usually play and game companies will collect data based on their engagement. It sucks for us players in Township since we are an interactive game that shares our experience on social media and in-game like co-op chat. So ideas get passed around and we discover these test groups. You can't change your test group. Playrex puts you in one. That's all for this video. If this was informative, give it a thumbs up. Have more questions on Township? Check out my Township tip playlist for more Township information. Or comment below your question. If enough people ask the same question, then I just might end up making a video on it. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye for now.